Hi boys and girls, today we are going to read I'm Not Just a Scribble. Look very closely. It was written and illustrated by Diane Elber. This is a story about Scribble whose lines would cross and wiggle. Tiny loops would start him small. Bigger swirls would make him tall. Could be shades of green or baby blue, even crazy colors. He loved them too. Choosing bright colors made him feel free. You never knew which one he would be. Then one day, Scribble took a short walk where he found a house and stopped to talk. Hello, said Scribble. It's such a great day. I thought I'd come over and we could all play. The house never saw anything like Scribble before, but he was curious enough to find out a bit more. So even though he was grumpy and didn't want to play, he still managed to grunt what are you anyway? Scribble was confused and didn't know what to say. So he said to the house, I'm just a scribble. Is that okay? It's not okay, said the house. You don't look right. Your lines aren't straight and your colors are too bright. But color is fun, Scribble said. I can show you why. Just give me a chance. Please let me try. No, said the house. You cannot stay. You're nothing like me. Now go away. Hearing those words made Scribble so sad, a tear ran down his face. He felt really bad. But I won't be upset, he proclaimed that day. So he changed his colors and went on his way. He continued his walk and soon found the sun along with the colors. They could all have some fun. Oh, I read that wrong, boys and girls. It says, along with the clouds, they could have some fun. But the sun saw him coming and told him to stop. Your lines are too messy, and we don't have a mop. Turn around, little scribble, he went on to say. Go back to your home. Please just go away. They are not being very nice to the poor scribble. But you're not being nice, scribble shouted quite mad. The fact that I'm different doesn't make me so bad. My colors are special and my lines are just fine. If you'd give me a chance, we could have a great time. Should we ask him to play? They huddled to discuss. It's fun with more friends. It's usually just us. And although they were worried this wouldn't work out, being mean to scribble wasn't what they were about. Scribble was surprised at what he saw the next day. All the drawings were there and they wanted to play. Even Rainbow showed up and he never came by. He was standing right there near the sun in the sky. We're so sorry, said the clouds as they held back their tears. Please come play, said the house. We haven't had fun in years. If you look very closely, boys and girls, you can see that Scribble is the only one that has any color. What do you think might happen next? If we think about what might happen next in a book, that is called predicting. So we're predicting what we think might happen next. 
If I think very hard about what I think might happen next, I think maybe Scribble will help color all of the other pictures. I forgive you, Scribble shouted, and he did a happy dance. They were, they were so grateful he gave them another chance. Scribble gathered up his colors and played with everyone. Blue, purple, green, and yellow. It was all so much fun. Wow, look at all those colors. I'm not going to show you this yet. I'm just going to read it first. Look what they created when they all came together. The art was so beautiful and it was much better than ever. Are you ready? Boys and girls, was my prediction right? It was right. My prediction was right. What if my prediction was wrong? Is that okay too? Sure, that's okay too. Predictions are just for fun. It's a fun guessing game. That is the end of our story. Now, if you look very closely, Scribble has lots of different faces. So a fun activity for you to do right now would be to have your, hum your human, your helper draw a scribble on a piece of paper like this. And then for you to put a face on it. So I did a scribble and my scribble looks like a pumpkin since it's close to Halloween. And I made it look like a jack-o'-lantern when I was all done. I found some stickers that I had laying around the house of eyes and nose and mouth and added them to my scribble. So here is what I made. Do you see my scribble? Does it look like a jack-o'-lantern? You can make something like this today too. I hope you enjoyed the book. I'm not just a scribble.